Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to part two of our multifamily series with Measure Square 8. In this video, we will cover product creation, including a broad loom with a pad, hardwood with a ply underlay, tile, and base. To begin, we will left click on the new project item button. We will enter in the name for our broad loom product, choose the type as carpet, and click OK. We can select our display color, enter in our roll width if needed, and click Save. To make our carpet pad, we can left click in the top left and select the New Product button. Enter in the name Pad, select the type as Underlayment, and click OK. In the estimating info for our pad, make sure to select the Is Add-on checkbox so we can associate it to our broad loom. Click Save. Left click the broad loom to open the estimating info details. Click the green plus in the bottom right to add the pad to our broad loom. Select the pad from the drop down and then choose the add on method as by original quantity to calculate the pad by the net area. Click Save. Click the new product button and enter in the name hardwood and select the product type as hardwood. Click OK. Change the display color, enter in the width and length of our hardwood plank, and click Save. To make our plywood underlayment for our hardwood, we will go through a similar operation to our pad, making an underlayment type item that is checked off to be an add-on item. Click Save. Click the hardwood product and click the green plus to apply the plywood similarly to how the pad was attached to the carpet. Click Save. Click the new product button and enter floor tile as the product name and choose a product type of tile. Click OK. Choose a display color and use the waste add-on field to enter in a percentage over the net area for our tile quantity waste. Click Save. Next, we will make the wall base type products. Click the new product icon, type in the name rubber base, and choose the product type as wall base. Click OK. Choose a display color for your rubber base, adjust any info as needed, and click Save. Click the Duplicate Product button in the top left and rename the base accordingly for our second kind of base. Change the display color accordingly and click Save. In part 3 of our multifamily series, we will cover unit takeoff and product application for our project. 